evening everyone um so i'm on lunch right now and i've done so much work in fact guys i'm telling you listen you will really really be tested um even in your workplace like even if you're working from home like you'll be tested because whoo after all that worshiping after you know um prayer and stuff like that like i i received a call from like a very very rude client you know being demeaning um just whatever and like guys honestly self-control is really the fruit of the spirit because i have the right to get rude back not even like even if i wasn't working right now and i didn't have to be professional if someone did that to me in the streets or someone said that to me in the streets i would listen <laughs> but god is good and god is faithful um because that attitude of worship even throughout that day and keeping my mind fixated on his precepts um and you know what god has commanded us to do in regards to just loving others and praying for our enemies and you know blessing those who who persecute us or or you know insults us should i say because i wasn't being persecuted but i was being insulted um blessing them like literally it was just like putting heaps of coal on top of his head like literally i understand don't worry i'm here to help um <laughs> all that kind of stuff and even he was coming back saying like i don't want to hear a script like, like uh, i was like don't worry i will escalate this it's gonna be okay um my god I mean, loving people is a challenge that requires you to really really depend on the holy spirit because when you start to rely on your own strength and even your own definition of what being loving should look like and not actually getting that from the very definition according to first john love is about the fact that he loves us first and not that we loved him but that he showed that he loved us mm, through jesus christ my god wow wow um yeah so i i mean like even when it comes to like loving alex um you know loving my friends loving my family my gosh i really really Hum like these situations are really humbling because it shows you how much you really need God and how much um we actually have not yet comprehended what true love is. Um man, it's something to think about really. Like my biggest prayer is always I want to mature in love. Um and you know, even even though today I was praying about being stirred up in, you know, giftings and being more bold and being more courageous, but there's always a consistent prayer. And um, that even if, you know, today, let's say the day um today is all about um giftings and calling and stuff like that, I always, always revert back to the very, very basic prayer of God teach me love god teach me how to love god teach me how to be patient with other people how to not be so easily angry how to have self-control how to you know be slow to speak and 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 see people the way that you see them you know um it is a challenge it's a challenge honestly um i'm having lunch right now and my tuna looks really bad um yeah, so I really just wanted to encourage you guys. Um, read First John. My gosh, I was doing a deep study on First John, um, and it was really talking about how evidence of you knowing God is when you know how to walk in love. Oh my gosh, it was deep. Like I actually need to. I was gonna do like a virtual Bible study with you guys, but it's one of them ones where because. Um, because it's so long and i wanted to do it on my ipad getting it onto my laptop was just like it was mad um so i mean i don't know what i'm going to do but i will try to do something because what i learned from first john is actually pff, it's literally mind-blowing but yeah i'm having like tuna sweet corn and mayo 
wrap. I don't know if it's a burrito or a wrap. I'll call it a wrap. Um, and I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna go and watch a TV show or something. Um, and then I'm gonna be working until 9 p.m. today. So, so from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. because I'm doing some overtime, need that extra money. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. That's just that's just the day. That's how my days are. Like, wake up, spend time with God, do work, worship throughout, have my lunch, and then keep working again. And then after that, I might play some Call of Duty, or I might chill with Alex, or watch something, or maybe even take a nap. Who knows? But yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Time for an eye break. <laughs> she stands all day looking at ice cream, so. Wow. Wowzers. I always do this when I come home from work. Oh my gosh. All right, don't get carried away. You got work to do, love. <laughs> Evening. Hi, love the hair. <laughs> Father in heaven, thank you so much, oh God, for your grace and your mercy, oh God. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for knowledge. I just pray, Lord God, that your spirit, Lord God, will lead us, Lord God, um, today, Lord God. Give us divine um, plans and instructions and directions, oh God. Give us insight as well as foresight and a divine strategy, oh God. We are inviting you um, to partner with you, Lord God, um, and to help us, Lord God, push forward this vision, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. viewers oh god i want to lift up anyone out there lord god who's watching this video lord jesus who's really struggling lord god to incorporate you lord god in their day lord god in their lives oh god people who are living busy lives lord jesus and are neglecting lord god fellowship lord god and communion with you oh god oh lord i pray that this video might inspire them lord god and how they can prioritize you lord god and how they can worship you lord god while they're working oh god but i pray lord god above everything lord jesus according to your word lord god according to romans lord god that they will offer their lives to you lord god because your word says lord jesus that giving ourselves giving our lives to you is the most acceptable and the most highest form of worship oh god so I pray, Lord God, and repent for all the times that we've been part-time worshippers, oh God. Whether that be in New Year's or on Sundays, or whether it's conferences, oh God, that we choose to worship you, Lord Jesus. But I pray that we would say yes in every season, every single day, Lord God, for the rest of our lives, oh God. That we wouldn't just praise you and worship you, Lord God, with our mouths, Lord God. That it wouldn't just be lip service, oh God. But we would truly offer our lives to you, Lord God, and we would sacrifice whatever, Lord Jesus, to do your will, oh God.
Oh Lord, I'm praying for those right now, Lord God, whose hearts have strayed away from you, Lord Jesus, who have forgotten, Lord God, and neglected you, Lord God. Oh, I pray that you would draw them, Lord God, that you would bring them back to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I pray that your love, Lord God, would convict them, Lord Jesus, that your mercy and your grace, Lord God, would chase them down, Lord God. That you would chase down their hearts, Lord Jesus, and that you would have your rightful place, O oh God, in their hearts, O oh God. May their eyes, Lord Jesus, be fixated on you, Lord God, and not on worldly things that are meaningless, O oh God chasing after our goals Lord Jesus oh we repent for selfish ambition oh God we repent for the times that we've lived our lives according to our um, own selfish pleasure Lord God according to our own will oh God and we just pray Lord that your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven in our lives oh God that we will continue Lord God to walk in the spirit Lord Jesus that we will pray without ceasing that we will give you the worship that you are due oh God oh Lord I pray and, and declare that 2022 is the year of discipline is the year of consistency it's the year of falling in love with you all over again oh God this is the year where we eradicate all excuses Lord Jesus every distraction Lord God we tear it down in the name of Jesus oh I pray Lord God that my viewers right now Lord Jesus who are struggling to come back to you Lord God I pray that you would renew their minds to see you to have a perspective of you oh God as a loving father Lord Jesus not like any man on this earth not like any father on this earth Lord Jesus who is fallible oh God but a loving father lord jesus who will not turn us away oh god who is faithful even when we are faithless oh god that you are approachable lord jesus oh i rebuke every shame every fear right now oh lord jesus every anxiety oh god every lie of the enemy right now oh god we take every thought captive oh lord according to your word and declare that it be submitted, Lord God, to the truth of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. That true love, oh Lord, true love is not defined by what we do for you or how we feel towards you, oh God, but that you loved us first and that you died for us, oh God. Thank you that you've given us every good and perfect gift above, Lord Jesus. And that we look to you, Lord God, for guidance, for instructions, oh God. You are the great shepherd, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh Lord, touch your people today, oh God, even through this video, Lord Jesus. Oh, may they encounter, Lord God, your love today. Oh, God, may they be wrecked, oh, Jesus. Soften their hearts, oh, God. Soften their hearts, oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, we worship you, we glorify you, be exalted, Lord God. We honour you, oh, Lord. We want to invite you, Lord God, in every area of our life, Lord God, do a work in us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We worship you, O oh God, the matchless name of Jesus Christ. You are the way, the truth, and the life, O oh God. Where else can we go, O oh Lord? Where else can we go? In you, Lord God, we find the fullness of joy, Lord God. In you, we find peace. We find healing, Lord Jesus. We find deliverance, O oh God. Everything that we need in this life is found in you, Lord Jesus. 
Hallelujah.